Hey, this is John Young with the Hometown News. Today we're going to cover some of the most common questions that have popped up since the property tax valuation forms came out here in Todd County. We've got some, some questions that came from today's meeting up in Long Prairie and some that have been around and floating around and we're going to answer some of those questions. Let's jump right into it. The increase in valuation is a big surprise for a lot of people. And this is really a big part of the, the trend in 2020, because we got to keep in mind that the valuations that we're seeing today, they were from sales of property from late 2020 into late 2021. So we went from October of 2020 to September, the end of September of 2021. That's the period. And during that period of time, we saw a lot of people coming out into the outstate and buying property. I mean, a property out here has been kind of expensive to begin with, and it's been going up. But in 2020, we saw a big jump where properties, and, and you even hear about it in the cities, where properties that used to sell for this much, people are buying it for over asking price. We never heard of that before. That's happening, and it's happening out here. And because of that, there's going to be an adjustment of the evaluation or the value of our properties out here in rural Minnesota. The new valuations are based on those sales. So they look at comparables. So if I'm out here looking in with farmland, they're gonna look at comparables to farmland similar to the land behind me of what that sold for to come up with the new valuation of the property. If you've got a rural residence like what we've got here, they're going to look at other sales of rural residences and compare them as closely as possible, which means in some cases, in most cases, the properties were valued somewhere between 20 and 40% less than what they were selling for. And that's obviously going to make a huge adjustment in the taxes and that tax valuation. And I really think that's what we're seeing is that we're seeing properties that are based on sales that have happened in our area. And now we're being adjusted for that. The 2023 proposed taxes had a line or had an item in the bottom that said new improvements. That was kind of a, a flub, for what we'll call it, for lack of the best way to describe it. That should have had a number with it, new improvements of your property. In this case, for 90%, 95% of us, it was zero. We didn't do anything for new improvements. Some people did, but most of us didn't. So it really it was kind of misleading. It really shouldn't have been there. Or if it was there, it should have said your new improvements that, you know, the adjustments made because of these new improvements should have been zero. And that would have helped a lot of people because a lot of people saw that and said, I didn't do anything new to my property. I didn't improve anything. And it jumped, you know, 30%. What's up with that? The new improvement shouldn't have been there or it should say zero. And then future, future uh, proposals that are going to come out like that, it is going to be fixed. So yes, Todd County is known as one of the poorer counties in the state of Minnesota and really almost across the United States. One of the things that's to keep in mind with this though is that there are state programs out there for a property tax refund that most people in Minnesota, truthfully, qualify for this. It's based on your income, it's based on your property and, and whatever else they look at. But that is going to be something that a lot of people in Todd County and across the state can apply for. It may not help you paying off the first half, but it could be something that would be kicking in or, or return to you before you have to pay the second half of your property taxes. So if you don't do the property tax refund thing, it's something to definitely check out. And if you do, it's still going to be there and it'll be something that you'll be able to use to help pay your property tax bill. Additionally, you may not see any more tax money going out of your pocket. This is a, a an increase across the whole county. And I've got a I'll put a link in the description below. There's an article that we ran with the hometown news on the on the a website that talked about how tax valuation and levies work. 
and if it if it works the way I think it might for a lot of us, some of us will see a little increase, but we're not going to see a 30 to 40 or 50 percent increase in our tax payment. We'll see maybe a little bit. Some people might even see it go down a little bit because if this person went up 40 percent and this person went up 10 percent, this one's going to pay. You're going to pay a little bit more taxes than you did before. The one that only went at 10 may even actually see a a little bit going down of their taxes if everybody else goes up and you go up the least you may see less payment in your taxes for 2023. I've seen this argument that I couldn't sell it for that. And there have been days and years in the past when we would look at that tax valuation and say, you know, if I could get that amount for my property, I'd sell it in a heartbeat. Well, here's the weird thing. You could sell your property and you probably could get that or more uh, from what the tax valuation for 2023 is. Property out here, really around the country, around Minnesota, whatever, is, is hot right now. People are looking for properties to buy. If you really were seriously thinking about selling, this is certainly the time to do it. The problem is you couldn't find your next spot to go to and living in a van down by the river is not very, not very appealing. Property is hot. It's selling well. And it's not so much, you know, Grego resident buying it with Grego money, you know, a Grego property. We've got people from around the country, around the state, around the world to a point. But there's money coming into our rural areas that hasn't been available before as people are buying up land as an investment. So the idea that my property, I could never sell it for that, I wouldn't be so sure. You may not only be able to sell it for that, you might even be able to sell it for more than that in this hot housing market. There's no one getting a pay raise. Levies are set by your local jurisdiction, township or city. It's set at the school level, school board level, and then it's set at the county level. These levies are gonna be very similar from year to year unless they are putting a referendum or something out there, or you would know about them increasing their levy. But most of them are within percentage points from year to year to year. They don't change a ton unless there's a big project coming up. So it isn't like someone's getting a pay raise. They're gonna be still collecting the same amount of money. And again, see that link down below where it talks about how this all works. The same amount of money is going to be collected over the entire properties of Todd County. It's not like all of a sudden we are going to be, they are asking for three times the money they got last year. It's not going to happen. It's about the same as it was the year before and the year before, just little slight increases as they're doing things. So it's not like anyone's getting a big pay raise. It's just that the value of the property has gone up. The school really doesn't need more. I mean, obviously they would like more money, but it's not like there was a referendum or anything that the school was involved with. The school is doing the school things and it's just as before with how they put their, their levies and things in together. Nothing's changed and nothing's increased while you were sleeping. It's just a situation of the value of the property is finally kind of catching up to what the market is really showing us. Your property value maybe looks like it doubled. If it went from $100,000 to $180,000, it feels like it doubled your value did. And you're thinking, oh my gosh, if my taxes double, I'm in trouble. Well, it's not gonna work quite like that. Again, see the article down below. Your taxes may go up a percent. It might go up 5%, it might go up 2%. It could even go down for some of us. It depends on how this all washes out. Some people have had that 30 to 40% increase in their value. Some people have had a 20%. It's gonna all kind of figure out and watch that we're gonna be probably paying very similar amounts in 2023 when they ultimately give us our tax numbers over what we would have paid for 2022. So if for some reason you think your value is is off, which unfortunately they've got sales for most of us that they can show us and say, no, we're pretty much right on. But if you wanna contest that, 
the kind of the path for this is to go to your local jurisdiction and it says on the forms where that is whether it's your township or your city you go to your local jurisdiction first and you talk to them there then the, the board or the city will make a recommendation to maybe change it that would then go on otherwise you can go to the county it also had a spot for that but it's not something you can call the assessor's office and the assessor can change it has to be changed by one of our our government boards that are overseeing our area so make sure you're doing it right don't call the assessor's office and and spend a lot of time wasting their time and you're not going to get anywhere so you're wasting your time look and see do it correctly if you think that you have a legitimate reason and that would mean that you know that Fred next door who's got the same house he couldn't get this number for his house when he sold it yesterday so that means that mine's not quite as valued as much that doesn't mean that if Fred sold it on the open market and he couldn't get the money that's one thing but if Fred sold it to his children at a reduced weight that doesn't count and this is kind of the weird thing when it comes to comparables it's got to be an open market sale so Fred over here probably listed it but in today's world, he probably sold it over his asking price. And that's kind of how it is here in the last few years with property when they've come up with this thing called above asking price. Well, hopefully that helped a little bit. There's some of the questions that have popped up. If you've got any questions, you can always put those in the comments section and we'll do the best to get to Todd County and ask and see if we can get the answers for those questions. But again, the link down below for that article. If you kind of read through it and think about it a little bit, I think that'll help a lot of us kind of get a better grasp for what is going to be happening when it comes to the valuation compared to where our taxes, property taxes will be for 2023.